Ever wondered how to identify a narcissist on day one? Well, the key lies in their communication style. Narcissism, a personality disorder characterized by excessive self-interest and lack of empathy, often reveals itself in the way individuals interact with others. You see, narcissists have a knack for manipulation. They are pros at twisting words, shifting blame, and making themselves the center of attention. And while they come in different shapes and sizes, their manipulative language often follows similar patterns. This knowledge is crucial for your emotional well-being. Recognizing these red flags early on can save you from a lot of emotional turmoil and help you maintain healthy relationships. So, how do you spot a narcissist? One way is by listening closely to their choice of words. Here are the 10 phrases that might help you spot a narcissist early into the relationship. First off, no one understands me. This phrase is a classic move in the narcissist's playbook. It's designed to play on your empathy, making you feel that they are alone and misunderstood. It's an attempt to isolate you, to draw you closer into their world. It's a way for them to gain control, to make you feel that you are the only one who can help them. So beware if someone repeatedly insists that they are misunderstood. Next up, you wouldn't believe what did to me. Narcissists are masters of playing the victim. They weave intricate tales of woe, painting themselves as the innocent party while casting others in a negative light. This blame shifting is a classic technique to divert attention from their own behavior and to elicit sympathy. It's a red flag when someone consistently portrays themselves as a victim, especially when they're always blaming others. So be cautious when someone consistently portrays themselves as a victim. The next three phrases are all about manipulation. Let's dive into them. First up, everything would be perfect if it weren't for you. This is a clear case of shifting blame. Instead of owning up to their flaws or mistakes, a narcissist will make you feel like you're the cause of their unhappiness or failures. They sidestep responsibility and place the burden on you. Next, we have, you're just too sensitive. This phrase invalidates your feelings and emotions. By labeling you as overly sensitive, they dismiss your concerns and maintain control over the conversation. It's a way for them to dodge any critique or challenge. Lastly, I was just kidding or can't you take a joke is a classic deflection tactic. By cloaking their hurtful or offensive behavior in humor, they dodge accountability and make it seem like you're the one overreacting. Be alert to these manipulative tactics. Moving on, we have phrases that show grandiosity, manipulate obligation, and exaggerate importance. The sixth phrase on our list, I'm the best at, is a classic grandiose statement. Narcissists use such boastful remarks to assert their superiority and attract admiration. They wish to portray themselves as exceptional, even when their actual skills might not match up to their claims. The seventh phrase, you owe me this, is a manipulative tactic to induce a feeling of obligation and guilt. By suggesting that you owe them something, whether it's a favor, time, or even loyalty, they try to control your actions and decisions. Remember, a healthy relationship does not involve keeping score or creating a debt of gratitude. The eighth phrase is, I'm so busy and important, an attempt to exaggerate their significance and workload. This is a bid for control and attention, making you feel like their time is more valuable than yours. They might use this phrase to belittle your achievements or to dodge commitments and responsibilities. Be aware that everyone's time is equally valuable and no one's importance should overshadow others. These phrases can be subtle and they might not seem harmful at first glance, but when used excessively, they become tools of manipulation and control. Stay vigilant when someone uses these phrases excessively. Lastly, we have phrases that devalue you and use love conditionally. The ninth phrase we often hear is, you're lucky to have me. This is a classic example of devaluation. In this case, the narcissist inflates their own worth to an unrealistic level while subtly diminishing your own value. They want you to feel grateful for their presence, as if they're a prize you've won and that you should be thankful for. This is a way for them to maintain control, keep you off balance, and ensure that you're always striving to please them. The tenth phrase, if you loved me, you would, is a classic example of conditional love. It's a manipulative tactic where your affection is used as a bargaining chip. This phrase is designed to make you question your love for them if you don't agree to their demands or satisfy their needs. It's a way for them to control your behavior, make you feel guilty, and keep you in a constant state of trying to prove your love. Both these phrases are designed to manipulate your emotions and keep you in a submissive position where the narcissist holds all the power.
They create a dynamic where your worth and love are always in question and your relationship is always on their terms. These are major red flags, so pay close attention if you hear them. So, there you have it. We've unraveled 10 key phrases that are often part of a narcissist's manipulative lexicon, from the isolation tactic of no one understands me to the blame shifting you wouldn't believe what did to me. We've broken down how these phrases serve their manipulative purposes. We've also explored how narcissists may shift blame, invalidate emotions, and deflect accountability with phrases such as everything would be perfect if it weren't for you or you're just too sensitive. And let's not forget the grandiose statements, manipulative obligations, and exaggerated importance they might claim. Lastly, the devaluation and conditional love they may imply with phrases like, you're lucky to have me, and if you loved me, you would. These phrases are all red flags, indicative of potential narcissistic behavior. Remember, trust your gut feeling, set healthy boundaries, and prioritize your own well-being in such situations.